Log in with your student ID and newly created password. Click on Taught Student Role from the main navigation bar. Then, click on the My Tasks title link on the My Task tile. This will take you to your registration and enrolment tasks. Read the navigation guidance available in the info box at the top of the page. Click Respond to open the registration and enrolment introduction panel. Read the introductory information, ensuring you have one of the accepted forms of ID readily available. Click Start at the top of the page once you are ready. Then, click Next at the top of the page to continue with your registration. This first stage of your registration is for you to provide up-to-date contact information to the university. Please read the contact details info box at the top of the page before you begin. Click Respond on the Permanent slash Home Address task. Before entering your details, read the guidance in the information box. Enter the details of your permanent slash home address. Click confirm once you have entered and check all the required information. This task will then be removed from your outstanding task list. Click respond on the term time address task. Before entering your details, read the guidance in the information box. Please note, if you do not have the details of your accommodation, please choose not available in the accommodation type drop down options. Enter the details of your term time address. Click confirm once you have entered and checked all the required information. Click respond on the mobile task. Read the guidance on the information box. Check that the mobile number on record is correct. If not, click update to change it. Once you have updated it, click save to confirm your changes, then close this panel. Click confirm to move on to your next task. Click respond on the home telephone number task. Read the guidance in the information box. We recommend providing a home telephone number if you have one. If this is not relevant to you or you do not wish to provide this information, you can move on to the next task. Click respond on the emergency contact task. Review and update your emergency contact information. Click submit once the information is correct. Click respond on the nominated person task. We recommend providing a nominated person if suitable. They can be the same as your emergency contact. Further information about this can be found via the link at the top of the task. If this is not relevant to you or you do not wish to provide this information, you can move on to the next task. Click Submit once the information is correct. Click Respond on the Personal Email Address task. Read the guidance in the information box. Check that the email address on record is correct. If not, click Update to change it. Once you have updated it, click Save to confirm your changes. Click Confirm to move on to your next task. Click Respond on the Alternative Personal Email Address task. We recommend providing an alternative personal email address if possible. If you do not have an alternative email address, you may enter the same external email address as the previous task. Once you have completed all the mandatory tasks, click Next to move on to Step 3, Student Personal Details. This stage of your registration is for you to provide up-to-date personal details to the university. Please read the Personal Details info box at the top of the page before you begin. You will need to click Respond against all the tasks below to open and complete the relevant response panels. Read the guidance in the information box at the top of the task and above each of the individual questions before responding. Click Confirm once you have entered and checked all required information. Click Respond on the Do you identify with any of the following groups task. We recommend that you complete this task. You can select none of the above as an option, however, if this is not relevant to you or you do not wish to provide this information, you may move on to the next task. Click Respond on the Fees task. Read the information at the top of the task carefully before you complete this task. Select the option that is applicable to you. If you select the My Sponsor slash ELCAS is paying all or part of my tuition fees option, you'll be required to upload your sponsor letter. Do this by clicking the Add button and selecting the Add from Local Drive option. Then, upload the relevant document. If you have any issues doing this, consult guidance below. Read and confirm the University of Lincoln's academic fee regulations. Click Submit once all the information is correct. Click Respond on the Confirmation of Location task. Please select the option that is relevant to you. If you selected Yes, then please choose the relevant option from the drop-down menu. Click Submit once all the information is correct. Once you have completed all the mandatory tasks and all the relevant recommended tasks in Step 3, Student Personal Details, click Next to move on to Step 4, Student Permission Details. This stage of your registration is for you to give student permission details to the university. Please read the Permission Details info box at the top of the page before you begin. Click Respond on the Career Readiness task. Read the instructions and choose the answers that best reflect your career readiness. Click Submit once you have responded to all the questions. Click Respond on the Privacy Notice task. Read the Enrollment Privacy Notice carefully. Select the checkbox to confirm that you have read and agree. Click Submit. Click Respond on the Students' Union Membership task. Read the information carefully and select the option that is applicable to you. Click Submit. 
Click Respond on the Register to Vote task, read the relevant information supplied and click Submit. Once you have completed all the tasks in Step 4, click Next to move on to Step 5, Upload your photos. This stage of your registration is where you'll upload a photo of yourself for your student ID card and a photo of a valid form of ID to confirm your identity. Please read all the provided guidance carefully. Click Respond on the Upload an Image task. Carefully read the instructions on how to upload your photo. Pay close attention to the criteria of an acceptable photo and follow these instructions carefully. If the photo you have does not match the required criteria, there is a cropping tool provided within this requirement. Click on the cropping tool link to open this tool. Click the Add button and select the Add from Local Drive option and upload a photo of an accepted form of ID. Scroll down to the Verification for your Student Card section. Read the instructions carefully and make sure you have a suitable photo of an accepted form of ID. Click Submit once you have completed both stages of this task. These photos will be reviewed by a member of enrolment team and you will receive an email informing you if your photos have been accepted or rejected. This will be done as quickly as possible but may take longer during peak enrolment times. If either of your photos are rejected, you will be informed of the reason why and instructed to upload a new photo. If it has been accepted, you can move on to the next stage of your enrolment. To do this, please log back into One Uni and navigate through each step of the registration process until you reach step 6, Completion Registration. Please read the instructions on this page and click Confirm once you have done so. You have now completed your registration with just one more task to complete before you are fully enrolled. When it is time to complete this task, you will be prompted via email. You will receive this email 10 days before the start of your course. You can then return to one uni to complete your enrolment. Navigate through each step again until you reach step 6. Click Respond on the final form. Please read the instructions on this page and click Confirm once you have done so. Review your details. Confirm that you intend to commence your studies at the University of Lincoln. Read the enrolment privacy notice and check the box to confirm that you have read it. Read the University of Lincoln One Community Pledge. Click Submit to complete the enrolment process. Welcome to the University of Lincoln.